It's day one of Helibay 74, a unique wingsuit flying event near the town of Chamonix in the French Alps. The best 23 flyers in the world have been invited to the event by Espen Fadness. It's going to be six different groups. Agree on who's the, the chief in the helicopter that talks to the pilot. I'm ready. And that's going to be super fun. Flying at Helibay 74 are Jonathan Flores, Vincent Descols, Mike Swanson, Yoke Summer, Julian Bull, and Hubert Schober. This event is unique. It's something that's never been done before. The first mountain of three is Lake Rondotan. And after a delayed start due to poor visibility, it's going in clouds. I hope it will clear us up. Four loads have already completed the important first run, giving them a chance to get a feel for the mountain. There is a lot of anticipation and planning that goes into it. We talk about the lines, how, which way we're going to fly, what feature we're going to pass. We go out and that's exactly what we execute. Faster runs will come next, but for now, the flyers are just assessing their line. I like to appreciate every part of the flight, the feeling of speed and seeing the background just rushing at you. Feeling of freedom, you're above the earth. You're in places that you would, under normal circumstances, never be able to go to. You're one with the entire universe. Now it's Load 5's turn to do their practice run. With Tony Uragello and Mark Sutton, Hubert Schober, Matthias Weiss, and Carlos Pedros Schutt. Everybody's having a good time. It's so nice to get out above a mountain. Normally, we have to climb a mountain. Hubert, Matthias, and Carlos jump first. It's Mark and Tony's first jump. Mark suggested that I follow him, and I thought that's great, because he's a much better base jumper than me. Tony Uragello is the British owner of Tony Suits, wingsuit specialist based in Florida. Mark Sutton, also British, is an ex-army officer and base jump specialist. He was James Bond's stunt double, who parachuted live into the London 2012 Olympic opening ceremony. Mark Sutton and Tony have been friends for years. He's right there looking at me. He's looking at the spot. He's telling the pilot, left, right, bit more, bit more. He turns and he jumped, and I just followed him. He can follow the terrain a lot better than me, and I'll just follow his line. Just suddenly turn left, Woo, real quick. And I couldn't believe it. I'm sitting at a table, actually, uh, on the grass where we land and pack. And Tony is landing with uh, this face of confusion and shock. He's giving me the sign of like. No. Get on time. And he was really fast and low. I couldn't get down there. And then he just hit. I landed close to everybody and I shouted out, Mark hit the mountain. I'm packing my parachute. Tony lands. He makes this sign. I know instantly what happens. What just happened? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. I think maybe something went in. Don't know who it was. Carlos? Mark. Mark Sutton. No, with you. Oh. Right, shut down, shut down, shut down. Uh, apparently impacted. It's always sad. That destroys everything. Everybody's so upset, a lot of people in tears. It's just surreal. Using Tony's head camera, 
the flyers try to pinpoint Mark's exact location. All that matters is deal with the serious situation we are in. I go back up in the helicopter. I went up back up to show the guys where it was. You have hope. No, no matter what, they can see from the heli that it is no point for them to go down and do anything about it. The tragic realization is that Mark Sutton's accident is fatal. That we were looking at each other's faces, and I, I couldn't believe that actually our worst fear was actually happening. It, 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 yeah, it, it, it hits you. It, it, it like destroys you. I mean, Mark, you know, it's, it's not like uh, anyone. It's, it's like a, a guy you know. We've been on the chopper with him. We've just seen him two minutes before. You shake hands, you say good flight, you know, rip it, tear it up, and, and then two minutes later you go like, what? The Flyers are devastated, and their thoughts are for Mark and for his family. Why do I feel sadness, uh, confusion, shock? There is nothing that can be said that will fix the situation. Honestly, I feel hurt for Tony, who saw it and for the family of the guy. Mark dying like that was just horrifying. Mark was my hero. After today, Tony Uragello decides to retire from wingsuit flying. I'm gonna go and buy a, a ranch in Montana and raise horses. We talk about what happened. I believe that any one of these pilots here, including Mark, would want for everyone else to continue. The Flyers are in unison that to continue the event is the best way to honor Mark's tragic death. Give a toast to Mark. I made a decision after talking with the heli company, Epic TV, and some jumpers that we were to continue jumping the next day. Next day, new place, new mountain, new destination, new beginning. We came here to complete something and to accomplish something, and I think Mark would have wanted uh, that as well. 19 Flyers jump on day two in honor of Mark.